Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N-Scale Trains. Today I'm standing in front of my latest layout, the Conejos Valley Railroad. Most of the scenery is done. I need to finish up the ballasting and start putting in some more buildings. But as you can see, it's just about done. So where do I go from here? Today I want to start talking about my next phase of my model railroading, namely designing my next small model railroad. Stay tuned. This diagram shows my thought processes for developing a future layout design. Eight years ago, I started my N-scale journey with a Boffman starter set that had enough Boffman Easy Track to build a small oval with one switch siding. I actually built this layout on a 20 by 30 inch board. Based on that, I recently developed this Kato Unitrack layout with a bigger oval and three sidings with some industries and an engine house. I see this primarily as a switching layout. But finally, I went to the third example, which has the original switching layout plus two more hidden tracks where I could put two trains, one freight and one passenger, still having my switching layout with a third engine serving it. This will probably be the next layout I build. I'll describe, describe these three options in later sections in this video. But first I want to talk about the software I use to design my layouts. When I first started planning track layouts, model railroad layouts, I went and got this Atlas track planning software, which you can obtain from this website address. You can get a free version that allows you to make a, a small layouts, or for $45 you can buy their complete layout system. This works great, but it's limited because it only allows you to use Atlas track. It turns out that the Atlas track planning software is based on SCARM, a simple computer-aided railway modeler, which you can also buy for $45. The advantage with SCARM is you can use a large number of track libraries in addition to the only the Atlas track. SCARM also has a 3D rendering, plus you can get the model train simulator for running uh, simulations on your track layout as you design it. Note that I'm not connected to either Atlas or SCARM, and I purchased both sets of software on my own. Now let's go back to the small Bachman layout. Back in 2015, when I was first starting out in N-Scale, I purchased this Bachman Golden Spike layout kit. It was quite a deal. It had a DCC power supply, a GP7 diesel, an NW2 switcher, both DCC, two cars, a caboose, and the track. I quickly put together a 20 by 30 inch layout. Here's what it looks like drawn out in SCARM software. But I quickly tired of this layout. Here's the next iteration of this layout. It's larger, 48 inches by 30 inches. I designed it as primarily a switching layout with a, several industries, a mine, factory, and an oil depot. This final layout was based on the last one, except I've expanded it to 48 inches by 42, and I've added two holding tracks here both in, in uh, inside tunnels, another tunnel down here, which is mostly a scenic break. These tunnels up here will serve to store two trains while uh, the action is going on down here below. I've got similar industries. I've moved the um, engine house a little bit, and I've added another siding up here to a station, and we could have another industry. In a future video on my channel, I'm going to demonstrate the train simulation extension for SCARM. 
Here's a quick example of how that looks. And here's a quick 3D view. I'll be demonstrating this more fully in a future video on my channel, Dean's and Scale Trains. So that's it for this video. If you want to see more of this type of video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.